The reflex press is a high pressure hydraulic press designed to produce a densely packed homogeneous sample puck that can be measured by XRF without the signal attenuation resulting from the use of a film coating or pore packing. The reflex press is delivered in two cases. The first case, shown here, is the hydraulic accessories case and contains the hydraulic pump, hydraulic hose with pressure gauge, as well as two sample dies, funnel, cleaning kit and measuring spoons. The second case contains the reflex press, as can be seen here. To remove the press from the case, the case can either be placed on the table or on the floor. Use care when lifting the unit from the case as the press unit weighs approximately 25 kilograms. When removing the press from the case, lift the unit from the handle and the base. Do not lift the unit using the hydraulic fittings as damage could occur. Once removed, carefully lower the press unit onto a stable surface. The press, when assembled, takes up approximately 1.25 metres of space, so ensure you have an adequate work area. To connect the system, remove the hydraulic pump and hydraulic hose from the accessories case and place to the right of the press unit. Remove the end caps from the press, the hose and from the pump. The hydraulic fittings that are used are premium, no leak press fittings and do not require tools to assemble. To attach, align the fittings, insert the male end of the hose into the female end of the press unit and press firmly together until they click into place. The dies can be identified by removing the cap and observing the die body. The standard die will have a smooth cylinder, where the premium die will have a cutout for the accommodation of a plastic ring. Remove the lid from the die and extend the die shaft until it clicks into place. The shaft can also be removed completely for cleaning. If the shaft is removed, simply insert it back into the die body. When extending, the die will support itself and can be placed onto the table. Insert the funnel into the die. Using the 10mm sample spoon, measure out a portion of your sample to place into the die. A dry, fine powder will produce the best results. Introduce the sample to the funnel. If bridging occurs or the sample does not flow completely into the die, tap the funnel and or die body lightly. When using the standard sample die, the volume is less critical because it is possible to produce pucks of varying thickness. When using the premium die, at this stage you will insert the plastic ring into the die. The rings are tapered and will only fit into the die in one direction. If the ring does not insert fully, flip the ring over. Using the 10mm sample spoon, measure out a portion of your sample to place into the die. Place the lid onto the die and turn to latch the lid. Only turn so that the pin is engaged in the slot. Do not tighten as the lid can become locked. Do not press down on the die until the lid is in place and latched. The sample is now ready to be pressed. The press uses hydraulic pressure to press the sample and operates at high pressures. When pressurised, do not touch any hoses or fittings. Unlatch the door to the press and place sample die into the press. Insert the die fully, utilising the provided guides. Close and latch the door. Turn the cap to vent. Unlatch the handle locking mechanism and ensure the pressure relief valve is closed and begin to pump. Use full strokes of the pump when pumping to ensure the second stage of the pump is activated. Observe the pressure gauge and increase pressure until the needle is in the green zone as indicated by the gauge. The pump is regulated to provide up to 5000 psi, however ensure that this pressure is not exceeded. Pressure will decrease slightly as the sample is compacted. Once it is stabilised, approximately 5 to 10 seconds, the pressure can slowly be released by opening the relief valve. Allow the pressure to release fully. Once released and the cylinder is fully retracted, open the door and remove the die. 
remove the cap off the die. If you're using the standard die, the sample is ready to be pressed out. If using the premium die, grasp the die body and pull the shaft while twisting to extend the die, then reinsert. This loosens the ring from the shaft and makes removal easier. Close and latch the door. Close relief valve and begin pumping. The die will rise against the top of the press and the sample will be progressively pressed out of the die. During this process, observe the pressure gauge. The pressure should not exceed a few hundred psi. If it does, check everything is in order before continuing. Once the sample is completely free of the die, open the pressure relief valve. Once the cylinder is fully retracted, remove the die. Remove the sample, clean and repeat. The steps for the use of the premium sample die are the same as those used with the basic die, except a ring is in place. A variety of cleaning tools are provided in the accessories case. Use these tools to clean excess material from the die parts between runs to minimise contamination. The denser, flatter and more uniform puck provides a more reliable surface from which to gain a quality analysis. With no film required between the XRF analyzer and the sample, the risk of a weaker or poor signal is eliminated. The same puck can also be used with other non-destructive testing techniques such as spectral analysis and LIBS. The Reflex Press, delivering better data at lower cost with increased productivity.